This belonged to my dad. It's a little piece of him. One of the only nice bits, really. Why don't you hold on to it for me? And so for her. It's perfectly stunning. Oh. Yes, and you're perfectly mental. <laughs> Stop it, Miles! <laughs> you're perfectly mental. Thank you, Miles. There you go. Hi! I, I, I couldn't sleep and uh. <sighs> Dirty man. Why? What is going on with you? That's exactly the same crack. What is good morning? But you know, I, I think Mr. McQueenie next door could look in on Mum today. I can call him and uh, stick around here just in case. No, no, really. Uh, I'd feel just awful. Oh, it's only one day. Do it. Well, thank you for coming to our rescue. Well, you always come to mine. Oh. Come on. Is that crack really there? OK. Some shit is going down. Good morning, it's time to wake... Oh, you're already up. Uh-oh. How are you feeling? Capital. Wonderful, in fact. That's not Miles. Once we find Flora, let's make a day of it. What do you mean, find Flora? Isn't she in her room? Hmm. Great. I'm all finished. And I wanted to show you something. You said your favourite colour was all the colours, and Miles says if you mix all the colours in the world together, you get black. Well, it's beautiful. I love it. I knew that was her. Flora? No! Flora? No! 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 Oh, shit! She was by the lake, but she hates the lake. <clears throat> she doesn't hate it, though. But Flora lies. <sighs> oh, my gosh, I need to get up. You're here another night, right? At least. Then hold that thought. Just till tonight. Come back to bed. Red flag. Patience. I don't think he does well with not getting what he wants. Open your eyes. Whose is that? It's yours. It's one of my projects, inventory for the swing. There's a few things going to auction, but Henry said this was yours, if you want it. But this belonged to... She never wore it. He was adamant about that. She never wore it, so don't feel bad. <sighs> Shit. Excuse me. The children, Rebecca, are on the lawn yes, by themselves. Of course. of course, I'm so they're sorry. Fine. Fine. The blouse, perhaps. Oh, gosh. Careful, Anna. 
You know that I can have. What? Have he fired? Oh, yes, I know that very well, Peter. Right now, I do not care. You see, if I ever, ever find you in here again, in Charlotte's things, ever again, so help me God, I will drag you out of this house by your bloody air mm. and throw you into that dirty lake. Do you understand me? Wow. She sees him. It's almost supper. Oh my God. He's not gonna like her. Mm, divine. <laughs> but you should add more strawberry. My turn. Mm, more lemon. It needs more lemon. You all must try this. It's amazing. Do you all agree? It needs more strawberry. Lemon. All right, love. A taste, then a smile. Oh, yeah. Oh, come, 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 come on. Please, I'll be offended. There you go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> No, I've done it. Oh, don't. You're no, no. a battered <laughs> woman. For sex. <laughs> sex. Mm -mm. Uh oh, thank you. Mmm, -mm. delicious. I say, lemon. Oh, we have a proper batter royale. <laughs> oh, God, that's amazing. I'm going to see Strawberry. In your face, Miles. Mm. <laughs> They're finally asleep. I swear, Laura's wearing a cake's worth of batter. He's off. What's going on? What a dick. I'm going back to London. You're such a dick. Oh, I, I, I thought... Yeah, well, both that this one didn't even have with Rebecca. Um, <laughs> when... will it be long? I'm not sure. Spoiled child. But you'll be fine, won't you? What do you mean? If you're going to flirt with him right in front of me, why would I stay for that? Wow. If you get hungry while I'm gone, why don't you see if Owen can find something to stuff into your mouth since you're okay with that, apparently? Wow. What are you I'm talking, talking about that man you opened wide for not two hours ago. Matt! You said you took this job. You didn't want old men looking up your skirt or down your blouse, but age them down and dumb them up, and you just open up when you're told this high. Do you have any idea what you look like? It's good to know that when a man asks you to put something in your mouth, he doesn't have to ask twice. Oh, what a piece of shit. shit. You misunderstand. You'll be fine. Jesus Christ. Wow! Dragons! No again. Hello? Peter? Hmm. Attention, please! Flora! Welcome to story time. It's story time. Oh, oh God, good story, story time. time. Come along. <laughs> As a kitten, I fell off an apple cart and had nowhere to live. I wandered and mewed and always followed the smell of apples because maybe that meant I'd find my mum. My mum was an apple cat. I'm Poppet, the puppet. And what are you, Poppet? A puppet named Poppet. My maker was Claude. He made puppets aplenty. Mm. He loved him so much, <laughs> even though he had 20. If one was too silly, and one was too stupid. If one laughed too much, if the other... ...too little. Claude went away on a journey one day and left the puppets at home. Soon, they forgot they had strings. And later, they forgot they were even puppets at all. Claude came back, so excited. They had forgotten him, you see. They laughed when he said he'd made them. They laughed at him. And he was so sad. 
They kept laughing. These stupid puppets. These stupid puppets who had forgotten. So he pulled on their strings. And it hurt. Thank Christ, Peter Quint to the rescue. <clears throat> Peter Quint is in that fucking kid right now. Sorry, Pete. Bad news, but she's dead. <laughs> is he neighbour? Mr McQueenie? I am so sorry, Owen. His mum died? I'm so sorry. Light a candle. Mm. I'm so glad you stayed. I am too. Come on. I'm not imagining it. I'm just not. Who the hell knew? Huh? Jesus. Oh my God, what is in those eyes? God, that was amazing. That was absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this freaking series. I was so anxious ahead of this thinking, like, how were they going to possibly tell a story this anywhere near as gripping? And they have done it, in my opinion. I'm gripped. I'm... I'm really starting to bond with the characters as well. I just, yeah, I love it. I love it. So, very interesting to see that representation of a of a of narcissistic abuse um, happening between um, between Peter Quint and Rebecca. My read of it is that is a that is the story of narcissism. I've experienced it myself, where it begins with this love bombing, you know, this incredible mystical connection, like they'd never shared with any person on earth, and they really believe it in the moment. They believe this person's going to complete them, but nobody can complete anybody. You can't fill the hole that exists inside a narcissist, no matter how hard you try. And we saw then immediately, you know, he didn't get his way. The turn. You know, they're lovely kissing in bed, la la la, he wants to sleep with her, but she needs to get up and go to work, and he's already physically aggressive, you know, holding on to her arm, telling her to stay in bed, and she didn't. So he tries to woo her back later in the evening, gets gazumped by Hannah, and then the fact that she just licked a spoon, he would degrade her to such a degree, you know, he basically called her a slut, uh, you know, and... Um, 
goes off and it's so frustrating because he's he's the one actually behaving like a child like that is just a petulant childish response not the behavior of a mature man and yet the effect of his behavior is to have her feel small and irresponsible and like somehow she deserves what he's doing to her which she clearly doesn't uh yeah just so brilliantly told though and, and i've got to say um oliver you know the guy who played luke playing he is playing this role exceptionally well like he couldn't be more different from luke i didn't even think of luke while he's on screen um now i know you know i've actually met the character properly incredible um and to to master that scottish accent in the way he has also phenomenal that is not an easy accent to do i can't do it loved it um and obviously i'm absolutely loving the jamie danny situation i'm so glad i called that i saw that chemistry go in so more of that i can have as much of that as they want to give me um I also get a real intimacy between Hannah and Owen, which I also like. That was so beautiful to have them all in that house together at the same time. And moving from that back into the past, you know, it's only a year ago. So it's really not that long ago that this has happened. And I, I you kind of forget that because for us, it just prior to this episode, it hadn't happened. So it felt very far away and seeing, actually seeing Rebecca moving through the same space, you know, that the characters we already know are, uh, made her much more present and real to me. And she just seemed absolutely as she's been described, like there's so much about her. She's smart, she's clearly very compassionate, she's ambitious, she's got love in her heart and she's about she's gonna be brought down by this piece of shit and as very many of us have been um luckily some of us get a chance to recover but it obviously we know rebecca did not uh again not clear on the f the role of flora in this um i feel like there's more to flora's story i just don't know what it is but i get she's tuned in to what's happening pre rebecca she you know even when she was explaining the dolls to rebecca she's like they're not imaginary they're not made up so i think that she is aware of what's maybe some past to this house the we've we're seeing spirits everywhere i swear to god i saw one in the hallway which looked like it could have been the um the plague doctor i also saw a person in a military outfit so clearly shit's going down we've already seen there's a doll in the in the thing the cellar that just just turns its head something was singing along with, with flora before <laughs> so ugh, yeah it's not feeling good i'm not feeling good about it and i'm not sure whether it was miles or peter in miles who said that flora lies If it's Peter, I don't believe it. But if it's Miles, I kind of do. And we also saw her see Rebecca in the lake today. One of the things I found interesting was that the lady in the lake had visited or whatever's bringing those footprints in up to the forbidden wing and down again was happening when Rebecca was there. So it was already happening so this stuff predates everyone um i was having a really good look at danny at the eyes in danny's guy there at the end and it looked it really did look like headlights it actually looked like the glass over headlights it's kind of got a very sort of um standout uh texture to it and then the way he flew off i really feel like she ran somebody over and that's how maybe how the glasses got broken i don't know but i'm sure we'll at some point gonna find out what that's all about 
But yeah, I'll tell you who I'm most pissed at right now, Henry. Because quite a lot of this actually would not have happened if he was on his game. He's allowed this wolf in sheep's clothing into his law firm and into his family home. And he's just completely negligent of his responsibilities to his niece and nephew beyond you know the provi providing resources for them um he's not protecting them that's sort of now been delegated to staff and you know as great as those people are ultimately they're paid to be there you know, it's not going to give the kids the same feeling as being looked after by somebody who has chosen to look after them. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about where this is going to go from here. It's definitely gripped me now. It, it, it kind of, it, it got, it was interested at the end of episode one. I felt really sort of bought in by episode two. Episode three, now I'm gripped. This is very similar pattern to Hill House for me. Um, but yeah, fantastic episode. I cannot wait to the next one. I'm going to go straight and watch it. I've seen it's not actually part two, uh, the next the next one. So I don't know what that deal is, if there is a part two at some point. Um, but I would like to see, obviously there's going to be the proper decline of that relationship between Rebecca and Peter and I you know you you want to see it because it's part of the story but you also don't want to see it because you know you're about to see a brilliant woman brought down by the manipulations of a narcissist and that is just going to be torture but what a show oh loved it loved every second of that episode until next time Bye-bye. Thank you for being a friend.